Hey, this is Adam. Welcome to another Vegas tutorial. Today we're talking about Vegas Pro 16 and how to make some fancy titles. So, uh, really the concept's pretty simple. So, when you see a title, really what that's talking about, when someone says title and video, what they're talking about is this right here. They're talking about just words, really, just some kind of overlay, but words on top of a picture. And so, there's me, there's our overlay, how do we make this? Specifically, how do we make one that looks like this? That rolls out like that? Well, that's actually pretty simple to do, uh, especially with the tools you have readily available in Vegas. So we're going to recreate this title further down. So first I'm going to scroll up. I see I've created more tracks here. There's this track, and then actually really high up, there's this track, which is a... Uh, you know the actual title track so uh, don't get too confused by this right here I have a uh, audio track actually let me delete this track it's absolutely unhelpful so now that, tra that tracks out of the way really there's just two video tracks and I'm gonna go to media generators and I'm gonna go to solid colors and I'm gonna grab a black and I'm gonna make it a lot shorter but I just want a black color so this is the base right here this is that black background that I created and what this does is it gives it a, some sort of readable frame so you can do this with all sorts of stuff you can make it blue you could make it yellow you could make it translucent mine's translucent so uh, to make it translucent again you can just change the opacity like this see this little slider right here at the top you can grab it will change the opacity and that's how much you can see through something something is opaque you can't see through it but if it's not 100% opaque you can see through it so uh, we're gonna make it partially opaque but 70% uh, 76% 76 opaque to be exact and uh, I'm gonna scroll in on my mouse wheel and that's gonna let me see the rest of these buttons here if you ever can't see those buttons it's because you're scrolled out too far uh, you can always get to them there but um, or, or by right clicking but the, a lot of times it's just easy it's just to scroll in just so you can see the buttons there uh, so obviously what's the problem this one's in the corner of the frame this one's over top of the entire frame we're gonna hit crop and keyframe and so event pan crop is the official name but I call it crop and keyframe I should probably call it event pan crop boom look I can put this wherever I want now so I'm gonna put that here and then just go to titles and text there's some sample text right here boom still too big and I scroll this back a little bit alright so you're gonna notice something there's a difference in the special stuff this isn't on there so we're going to take the sample text going to reduce it and so you may be thinking how do you get special fonts on there well if you want a special font uh, something something that means something to you like the X files text uh, then you need to go install that font so whether it's rights free not rights free whatever you need to figure that out uh, and you need to install that font so here we got a font Overneath, uh, overneath, above this uh, graded, uh, this not graded, but this this slightly transparent background, uh, and so now there's one main difference though. This one's all fancy because it slides in. I might be thinking now that's the hard part, right? Oh, all those keyframing. Vegas did all this for you guys. Don't worry. All you have to do is go to transitions. I'm going to do something like, no, not spiral effect, portals. Let's try portals. Let's see what happens there. Oh, first, the easiest way to add a transition is to already have a little bit of a fade offset. That is a transition. Uh, any Anything 
cutting at all is a transition, but uh, having a fade effect is a fancier transition, and then it'll recognize that that's your transition, and it'll just fill it up with the effect. Whoa, so that was kind of cool. It actually looks like it just like drew that line there. And so um, we're going to give that a little time to draw. We're going to give a little bit of transition to this, and let's create some sort of a transition here. So, so if you're wondering, all I did on this one, see how it says line transition? There's a slide transition on this top one. You can see I have a linear page reveal, and it just wipes over. And then so it essentially draws the box on there. And then the next one slides up. I just have the text sliding up. So in this transition, let's see. Squeeze. Eh, I don't think that'll look good. Vertical blinds, swap. I don't know what that'll do. I don't know what that'll do. Let's try it. No harm in trying anything, right? So let's look. It draws a box. Hey, that's okay. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but that works. So we got our first one right here. Boom, it draws the box, slides up. Our second one right here. Whoopsie where it makes the portals and then slides the text down so let's say you don't like that you want to do a different one click right here click this F with a X on it that removes the plugin it's now gone now it just fades up maybe that's what you want maybe you just want it to doom and fade uh, there's all sorts of all sorts of right answers to this who that'll be fun I'll just let that pop in there like a spiral you can change the effects too you can change the frequency of the portals, how quickly it does, what kind of a border you have on the iris. There's all sorts of options. Nope, you didn't see it very well. That's just because it, it's live rendering this. So, let's see. Okay, it takes a second to live render that. We're going to arrow through it. If you ever can't see anything in live render, arrow through it. Ooh, that's cool. So, it comes out, the, the iris actually comes out from the center here, but because nothing's, nothing's in the center, the text is in the corner of the frame. Just looks like it spills on there. I like that a lot. There we go. Now we have another fancy transition. Like I said, you can do this with blue, yellow, red. It doesn't have to be see-through. It doesn't have to be that color. Uh, one more thing I do want to note, though. Let's say you want it to be uh, fancier. Let's say you want want this to be more than just a box, right? Well, there's this thing called cookie cutter. It's an effect. And cookie cutter is where you're going to get started. I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial, but a lot of you may have that question, so I want to go ahead and answer it. Cookie cutter, I have a tutorial about cookie cutter. Uh, it's, it's good for a lot of things. Oh, oh, my new blue wants me to log in. Um, so with cookie cutter, see, it kind of lets you create different shapes out of your video. And which is great for a ton of reasons. One of those reasons being uh, if you wanted to make some sort of shape out of a solid color, um, then then the cookie cutter is definitely a way, one of the ways you can do that. Um, there's also, if you drop in a PNG with a transparent background, that is also a way to drop in a shape of any color. You'd have to create that outside of Vegas, but uh, once you've created that, then you're ready to go. All right, guys, thank you. This has been a tutorial with Tech Dive AV Club. Uh, we have a lot more tutorials on our main channel, but the tutorials have moved to this channel, and uh, they will continue coming out on this channel. This one's been for Vegas Pro. If you're looking for movie studios, I'm going to have one for movie studios coming out next. So I appreciate your time, and we got plenty more tutorials on the way, especially in January. I plan to hit this really hard and have a whole lot more tutorials out. So if you've been waiting a long time for one, I'm sorry. That's abnormal. You, should, you shouldn't be waiting so long the next time. Thanks again. See you next time.